It's Tuesday, uh, July 19th, around 9.45 p.m. It's been a long day. Uh, I'm at UCSD, uh, UCSD Jacobs Medical Center in La Jolla. I've been here for a few days now, and, and today was a big day. I just wanted to roll out a quick update. People have been asking me, Robert, what have you been doing? Uh, we know you are stage four metastatic, uh, pancreatic cancer patient, and your cancer uh, returned last year and you've been undergoing chemotherapy for the last 10 months. You go every week for three weeks, you get a week off and then you start all over again. Uh, so what's been going on? All right, well, here's a quick update. Um, I participated in an investigational study, a uh, clinical trial here at UCSD. My oncologist asked me uh, to participate uh, provided that I met all the criteria, I passed all the screening tests, uh, I'm qualified, and I did. So it was a long three months. So uh, two months ago, a month ago, I went through a process called leukopheresis, and they took my white blood cells uh, from my body. They shipped my white blood cells up to a laboratory in San Francisco. And the scientists and researchers up in San Francisco modified uh, re-engineered the DNA of my T cells and they gave it an artificial receptor that would uh, recognize the targeted protein expressed on the surface area of my tumors, which are in my lung and in my liver. And uh, the thought is, is that when they infuse the CAR T cells back in me, uh, my immune system will recognize my cancer and will kill my cancer cells. So uh, one of the side effects of getting CAR T cell, uh, cell therapy uh, is you are susceptible to uh, infection and you are expected to get uh, or show signs of a cytokine release storm. And basically that's your body just fighting the uh, bad cancer cells or my body. <clears throat> uh, I'll have a fever of 101, 102, maybe 103. Uh, I'll have a headache, uh, maybe feel nauseous. I have the chills uh, and whatnot. And hopefully uh, in a few or three, uh, two or three days, I'll be fine and then I'll be in remission. So entirely possible that I'll be in remission for uh, a long time. Uh, I don't know what a long time is obviously for the rest of my life, right? But maybe I'll have long lasting immunity to my cancer. Uh, it will last five years, eight years, two years, maybe one year, we just don't know. But I'll take it, I'll take it because um, chemotherapy is archaic and it's barbaric, but it's the only thing we've got, uh, only thing we've had for the last couple of decades, right? But we are now finally moving beyond chemo. And uh, let's hope this trial works and let's hope that it gets FDA approval and let's hope that uh, the therapy gets offered uh, to cancer patients around the world that need hope, right? And uh, that's what I've been doing. All right, I will update everyone later, but I gotta go to bed, I'm tired. It's been a long day and uh, We'll see everybody later.